Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now first things first, I wanted to wish everybody a happy new year. We're in the year 2022. It's hard to believe I've got the new calendar up on the wall. And to kick things off for the first video of the year, I wanted to talk about a technology company that's really paving the way for some future developments in the AR and smart glasses space. So the company we're going to be talking about today is called Vuzix. This one's been on my watch list for some time. It's been requested by a number of subscribers. They just came out with some huge news in relation to Verizon. So I wanted to get this one out first and foremost to kick off the year with a bang. Now, before we get into it, you guys, please take a second, hit the like button. It's a huge help to both myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to do so. And let me know in the comments section below if you're currently holding shares of Vuzix, if you've heard of this company before, and what you think about these recent developments. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right, for today's video, the first one of 2022, we're going to be covering Vuzix Corporation, ticker symbol on this one is Vuzi, V-U-Z-I on the NASDAQ exchange. Now you can see here, relatively quiet day on December 31st, they were down $0.06 cents a share, closed out the session at $8.67 US. Now this one has a super interesting chart, and as mentioned in the intro, this one's been on my watch list for quite some time, and I'm actually glad that I waited to put this video out, because I think they really are starting to hit some strong support right around that $8, $8.50 kind of price point. And I think the share price and correspondingly the market cap on Vuzix Corporation is starting to look very attractive considering the underlying business fundamentals which we're going to talk about in today's video and some of the major catalysts for this sector moving forward. So it seems everywhere you look right now, metaverse is the buzzword being thrown around, augmented reality, virtual reality, wearables, the sector really is red hot right now and Vuzix Corporation really finds itself right in the center of that exciting developing space. Now in terms of video format here, we're going to talk about some recent developments at Vuzix Corporation. We're going to take a look at a great research report or article that I found on the company. Then we're going to jump over to the corporate website and look at the investor presentation and look into this business model in a little bit more detail. Now before we get into all that, I did want to quickly point out the market cap here on this one. So we're sitting as of close on December 31st, right around 550 million dollars US. Now the share price has pulled back substantially over the last 12 months. So if we pull up a one year chart on Vuzix Corporation, you can see back at the start of April of 2021, this company was trading in excess of $30 a share and we're now trading under $9. So essentially you're getting this for a third of what you would have back in April of 2021. And similar to what we've seen with a lot of companies we've talked about on this channel, the share price has retreated quite dramatically over the last couple of months. And I think small caps are really in a strong position moving into 2022 for some big growth and some major upside potential. So with that being said, super excited to get into this video today and really dissect Vuzix Corporation and their underlying business model. Now first up here you guys, I did want to jump over to their website and just give a quick background on the company for those of you who aren't maybe super familiar with this space or this organization. So they've actually been around for just about 25 years. They were founded in 1997. They're an optical technology company with specialized or specialty manufacturing skills that have really allowed them to become an industry leader in the design, manufacturing, marketing, and sale of optical components, waveguides, smart glasses, and AR or augmented reality solutions. And the last two points there, the smart glasses and augmented reality solutions, is really where I see most of the growth for the company moving forward, and really the two components of this business model that excite me the most. Now, as you can see here, our products are highly configurable. We do custom configurations for clients, custom manufacturing for our OEM partners. So OEM, you guys, means original equipment manufacturer. And as you're going to see later in today's presentation, there really are some huge B2B or business-to-business -business contracts 
that Vuzix has put on the table, and I think this is really going to help differentiate them from some of the competition in this space. Now in terms of the company origin, Vuzix really initially set out in the R&D space for next generation military display solutions, and they've now grown exponentially to service a number of different industries, different use cases, ranging from commercial manufacturing applications, all the way to healthcare and telemedicine, which we're gonna look at towards the end of today's presentation. So they've come a long way in the last 20 years, they've emerged as an industry leader in this space, and they're now really starting to see a lot of traction for these products as the world starts to evolve into some of these new technologies like the metaverse, augmented reality, and virtual reality. Now one thing I'm really going to try and focus on more so in 2022 here is looking at some of the underlying fundamentals or numbers behind these businesses as we dissect them on the channel. So I've pulled up Vuzix Corporation on Stock Unlock and there's a couple of metrics I really wanted to point your attention to. So number one on the income statement here, total revenue for the company. If we look at a quarterly view over the last couple of years here you guys, you can see revenue has definitely been trending up and to the right. We're sitting at some of the highest revenue numbers on a quarterly basis that we've ever seen in company history. So that's definitely a bullish indicator for me. The other thing I wanted to point out here on the balance sheet, you guys, if we look at cash equivalents, again, looking at a quarterly view here, you can see a very strong cash position. As of Q3 of 2021, they were sitting at $130 million US of cash on their books. And the final point I wanted to bring up here is the total liabilities of the company. So as you can see, again, Q3, they're sitting at only $4 million in total liability. So very healthy ratio there, you guys, of assets to liability. And the other thing I really like to see is if you look all the way back to 2015, their total liabilities have been relatively flat. So again, for me as a potential investor in this company, for full disclosure, I currently do not hold any shares in Vuzix Corporation, but this is definitely one that's on my watch list. This is another major bullish indicator for me as a potential investor. Now the final point I wanted to mention here, if we jump over to the analyst tab, so this actually looks at the number of analysts that are currently covering Vuzix Corporation. I wanted to give you guys a range in terms of price target here. So remember, current share price, you guys, is $8.67 US. Even on the low side of things, analysts are expecting this company to be trading at about $20 US. So we're looking at 133% upside on the low end. If we look at the high end here, you guys, we're talking $36.75, which represents a 323% increase compared to where the company is trading today. So super excited in terms of the bullish sentiment around this company. And again, looking at some of the assets, the growth in revenue, the liabilities, the underlying fundamentals for this company do look encouraging to me. Not to mention all of the exciting catalysts that we're now going to talk about in terms of the recent developments and news at Vuzix Corporation. And with that being said, this article came out on Wednesday, December 29th, and it talks about that big partnership with Verizon that I mentioned in the intro. Verizon partners with Vuzix to power AR in sports and gaming. So these two companies, Verizon is one of the biggest telecommunication companies in the world have now inked a definitive agreement for an undisclosed amount with Vuzix Corporation to deliver an immersive augmented reality. So again, we're seeing that AR use case experience in the sports and gaming arena. This is gonna be a first of its kind offering and is likely to sow the seeds for future endeavors related to the commercialization of AR technology in various domains. So as mentioned, Vuzix is really paving the way for a lot of these use cases, you guys. And if you can imagine going to major sporting events, you put on a pair of these glasses or smart glasses and the amount of things you could layer over top of these games to really enhance the customer or fan experience is virtually endless. And this is just one industry, one vertical and one use case. Now, as you scroll through this article, you'll see a number of interesting points here. So Vuzix actually holds over 240 patents, so a huge portfolio of intellectual property. And the emergence of 5G, specifically in this article, Verizon's 5G network, is really what's enabling this company to open up the floodgates and start to pursue a lot of these really new and exciting endeavors. And interestingly enough, the research report that I found in relation to Vuzix 
really talks about this Verizon partnership as one of the key catalysts moving forward for this company. So the article is found on Technology Market Report. I'll leave a link in the video description below, but if you're invested in Vuzix or you're looking to potentially invest money in this company, I would highly recommend you take a look at this website or this article. It's very comprehensive and lays out a very strong bullish case for this company. Now the header of the article reads, Verizon's new favorite AR gadget, how the 5G giant Verizon could help Vuzix dominate the $18 billion augmented reality market. So again, the sports and gaming component is only a fraction of the total addressable market or TAM for these type of products. Now they lay out six strong reasons why Vuzix Corporation is delivering on their promise to shareholders and is now becoming one of the strongest names in the metaverse. So again, you're seeing that term metaverse. This is something I've been researching extensively, you guys. It's essentially creating duplicate universes or duplicate worlds for people to exist and interact digitally or virtually. And I think this is definitely going to be the way of the future. And companies like Vuzix, who are really getting that first mover advantage, are going to be the favorites in my personal opinion. Now I'll read out these six bullet points and then we're going to dissect them in a little bit more detail. A lot of these are really closely intertwined with the investor presentation, but I did want to lay these out so we can build on them throughout the rest of the presentation. So number one, Vuzix is a global leader in smart glasses and AR technology. Again, we mentioned that strong portfolio of intellectual property. They've just partnered with this 5G giant Verizon. We looked at that article which just came out last week for a new project in the sports and gaming field. And in addition to this partnership, they're already receiving massive orders from all types of Fortune 50 retailers. So we're gonna look at some of these partnerships again in the investor presentation, but this company is very well known in the industry. And there's a lot of companies that are actually already using their technology and seeing big impacts or big benefits on their own business. Now expanding on that point, by 2021, so last year, again, crazy to think we're in 2022, around one third of enterprises are starting to deploy multi-experience platforms to support augmented reality development or deployment in their businesses. And we're gonna look at some really cool use cases, again, in a couple of seconds here in the investor presentation. Now the industry overall, you guys, is expected to grow extremely fast. So compound annual growth rate here in excess of 31% through till 2026. And that's where you're getting that 88, $89 billion total addressable market. So compared to a lot of the other sectors and companies we've talked about on the channel, 31% compound annual growth is absolutely mind blowing. In the near future, so bullet point four here, demand for smart AR glasses is expected to reach about 20 to 31 million units. So the actual number of glasses being sold or the actual amount of hardware being deployed. The fifth point here, Vuzix revenues were up approximately 156% year over year from around 1.2 million to just under $3 million thanks to the sale of that hardware or the smart glasses themselves. And gross margins, you guys, are just about 50% for this business. So gross margins came in at 47% for 2020, which again, compared to a lot of other companies, is really quite impressive. And further to that point, we saw based on that quarterly chart that we looked at, the revenue growth for this company has been consistent year over year for the last number of years. And the final point here, Vuzix is ready to steal the show at 2022's big CES or Consumer Electronics Show after multiple years of award-winning appearances generating massive buzz for their hottest new models. So if you're unfamiliar with the CES, you guys, Consumer Electronics Show, it's in Vegas each and every year. This is where you want to be if you're in the technology or electronics space. And Vuzix has already made a very strong presence there. They've received a number of awards and they're looking to really expand on that in 2022. And that's really what they talk about as you scroll down in the article here. Augmented reality companies, especially Vuzix, were some of the biggest hidden winners of 2021. Now, a lot of people who are familiar with this space, whether you're talking augmented reality or virtual reality, will think back to Google's attempt to enter this space. 
They launched a product called Google Glass. It really wasn't well received by the public and it kind of fell flat. I think that really gave some people a sour taste for this sector overall. But as you'll see in the investor presentation, coming up with practical smart glass applications and hardware really is an art here, you guys. It's not just a science. You need products that are going to be comfortable, they're going to meet the needs of the consumer or the end user, and there's a number of other factors that Vuzix has really taken into consideration that sets them apart or differentiates their products from some of the other competitors like Google Glass. And this is a look at one of the smart glass products here. So this is the Vuzix Verizon partnership here, as you can see. Now we're gonna look at their full suite of products in a couple of seconds here, you guys. And ultimately, these are being used in a variety of industries, as we mentioned, to really enhance employee engagement and employee efficiency or productivity. Now I mentioned in the intro, Vuzix has had a number of big announcements over the last couple of weeks. So here are a few that I wanted to highlight quickly before we jump into the investor presentation. So Vuzix announced it's expanding its M400 smart glasses market availability to approximately 54 new countries around the world. They received smart glasses orders from Pixie Medical to support European commercialization of AR smart glasses for orthopedic surgery. So there's one of the medical use cases. They've upgraded their support to now interact with Zoom, Skype, and WebEx. So you can imagine with the pandemic situation, a ton of people are working remotely or from home. Zoom, Skype, and WebEx are some of the most popular platforms to interact with coworkers. And you're now going to have plugins that enable you to use the Vuzix technology in those type of situations. They've received additional smart glass orders, again, for the healthcare space from the Netherlands. They've entered into blood cell research at Newcastle University. So again, and more medical applications here you guys they've had their glasses used for remote student learning at the Istanbul University facility of dentistry so this is a combination of a medical use case and a work from home or a homeschool situation now getting back to their roots here they've received orders from the US defense contractor to help develop customized waveguide based optic engine and the final point Again, just within the last couple of weeks here is they've assisted the University of Rochester Medical Center surgeons with AR or augmented reality glasses. So another medical use case. And as you're going to see towards the end of today's presentation, this is one of the fastest growing sectors or use cases for this technology. Now the final point I wanted to mention from this article here you guys, and again this is more related to the technical side or the chart side of this company. We took a look at that recent share price pullback. Again they were trading above $30 within the last 12 months. They've pulled back now to under $10. Now we can't see specifically who's shorting this company, but there is a huge battle going on right now between the longs and the shorts on Vuzix. And the current short interest or the percentage of shares that are short in Vuzix currently is sitting at just under 23%. So there's a huge portion of the company's float that's currently being held short and that really sets this company up nicely for a potential short squeeze down the road. Now we talked about that $8 support level, that's called out in this article as well. So I think from a technical standpoint, those are very bullish indicators, you guys. We're bouncing off a very strong support level. There's a big percentage of the float that's held short right now. And the revenue and underlying business fundamentals are continuing to look stronger and stronger each and every quarter. So again, it's impossible to know exactly what's caused this big share price pullback, but this article mentions that this could be a potential outcome of this increased short interest and not necessarily based on the fundamentals of the business, but instead this battle between institutional investors to try and move the share price one way or another. Now with that being said, on the long side of things here you guys, you can see a big percentage of the shares at this company are held by institutional investors and big investment funds. So companies such as ARK Investment Group, which is headed by Kathy Woods, BlackRock, Vanguard. So some of the most notable players in the investment community space are currently long this company and holding a considerable amount of shares. And I think a big part of the reason for that is really the strong leadership team behind this strong business model. So Paul Travers is a CEO, president, and director. He's also the founder of Vuzix. He served as the president and CEO since the company was founded in 1997. You guys know that I love founder-led businesses, some of the most successful 
Most profitable companies in the world are founder-led. And Paul Travers has been with this company since day one. He's seen it grow. He's seen it develop. And he has a super strong understanding of the industry. You can see here more than 30 years experience in consumer electronics and 25 years experience in the virtual reality and virtual display field specifically. So I would highly encourage you guys, again, whether you're currently invested or thinking about investing in this company, go on to YouTube, you guys, watch some of the interviews with Paul Travers, and I definitely think that will instill more confidence in this investment and provide a really fresh outlook on the company from the CEO's perspective or from his own eyes. So now we're going to shift gears here a little bit, you guys. We're going to jump over to the investor presentation on the Vuzix website. So I thought this slide was very fitting here and it really shows the evolution of technology in relation to computing over the last couple of decades. So you can see here 1960s mainframe computers were cutting edge technology. As we move into the 1970s, desktop computing started to become more prevalent. 1990s we saw laptops really come to fruition and start to be the cutting edge of technology. 2010s we saw smartphones we obviously have seen massive adoption of smartphone technology they're portable they allow people to access information on their fingertips and they've got a huge suite of apps that really support or complement the user experience and as we look forward into the 2020s here we're really looking at wearables specifically smart glasses as the future of computing technology now in the intro I talked about smart glasses in terms of the actual hardware or the number of units being sold. So you can see here in today's business model for Vuzix, this is really where they're focused. However, moving forward, their objective or their goal with this company is to divide into three segments which are really going to drive additional long-term revenue growth and profitability for the company. So they're still gonna have the hardware. This is the bread and butter of the company. So the actual smart glasses units or smart glasses being sold. They're then gonna have a software component. So smart glasses service as a software. Again, gonna drive that recurring revenue and stickiness of their customers and then these multiple original equipment manufacturing agreements. And we're gonna look at that in more detail later in the presentation here. But between the three here, you guys, they're really focusing on driving additional profitability for the company and diversifying some of those revenue streams down the road. And again, for anyone who's been watching this channel for some time, I love recurring revenue and I love multiple revenue streams because it really reduces or minimizes the risk in these type of companies. So now that we've looked at the chart, we've talked about some of the fundamentals of this underlying business. We've looked at some of the recent developments and news related to Vuzix. I wanted to start to talk about some of the specific use cases so you guys can really get a feel for where these glasses or where this technology is being used. So here's an example of a commercial use case. And as you can imagine, if you own a business, you guys, the goal is really to drive revenue and cut down costs. And these are some of the ways that smart glasses are actually able to cut down costs for these businesses. So number one is going to be increased productivity. This can really come true in a number of different ways. So whether it's reduced training times, increased efficiency, whatever the case is here, you guys, the goal with these wearables or smart glasses is to increase the overall productivity and efficiency of workers or people wearing these products. They're going to eliminate or reduce travel costs. They're going to improve worker safety and give heads up display or heads up notification of potential risks. There's gonna be a lower carbon footprint, again, reduced travel, reduced overhead, reduced number of employees. All of that adds up to lower overall business emissions and carbon footprint. They're gonna reduce worker errors, so that's very closely related to worker safety and protect worker health. So there's a number of different benefits that these products really offer businesses, and these are just a few that are the most common cited by people using these products. And as you can imagine, with all of those benefits, we're really starting to see adoption rates increase for smart glass technology. So you can see here a number of different industries that are really leading the charge and starting to see the benefits of these smart glass solutions. So warehouse logistics, barcode scanning, order picking, fulfillment, video recording, again, increasing overall employee efficiency on the manufacturing side of things. They can layer in work instructions, video or step-by-step -step confirmation and quality assurance, 
In the telemedicine sector, we're gonna look at this one in more detail in a couple of slides here. Remote video recording, procedure assistance, and really helping to cut down on potential errors. And then field service here, you guys. So things like remote support and on the job training for some of these more hands-on industries. So I mentioned earlier in the presentation, there was a number of features that are really helping differentiate Vuzix products from the competition, and these are a few. So superior speech recognition, noise canceling implementation, advanced optics that are not available in a lot of the competitor products, and a number of other features that are really allowing a truly hands-free experience to help operators in all of these different industries improve efficiency, improve safety, and cut down on overall potential risks and costs. And further to that point, this slide here really compares the Vuzix product to some of the others that are available in the market right now. So you can see enterprise success, so business to business success requires both performance and functionality. So that's why I mentioned it's not so much a science, but an art here, you guys. And I thought a really interesting example of that was simply just the length of time that these smart glasses can hold a charge. So if you think about it, most shifts in these type of industries, you guys, are about eight hours in length. So simply having a product that can maintain a charge for eight plus hours is crucially important. Now, in addition to that, battery life, you need comfort, display, functionality, price, software applications, support, and the actual weight of the product. So there's a number of different angles or elements you need to consider. And if you compare Vuzix, so the M series is shown here, which ranges in price from $800 to $2,500 to some of the other competitors. So you can now see Google Glass, Epson, Magic Leap One, Microsoft's product, and Realware HMT. The product that Vuzix is offering really stacks up holistically across the board, whether you're looking at any of these different individual features or the product overall. And I think that's exactly why they're starting to see adoption. I'm starting to see so many of these big Fortune 500, Fortune 50 retail companies really seek out their products and start to place these purchase orders, which ultimately drive the growth in that top line revenue that we saw earlier in the presentation. And interestingly enough, healthcare and telemedicine is one of the fastest growing verticals or sectors for Vuzix. Now I wanted to highlight this, number one, because it's very important to this company, but we've also talked about a number of telemedicine related businesses on this channel. I'm very bullish on this sector moving forward. So if the sector itself is experiencing major growth, and this is one of the fastest growing verticals for Vuzix, that's a great thing to see as a potential investor in this company. So again, they call out the superior design of the glasses or the wearables themselves. They're lightweight. They've got a variety of effective mounting options. They've got flexible hardware and a variety of viewing options. And another thing that you may not initially think of is just the ability to actually clean and sanitize these products in a medical situation. Now, in addition to all of that, the actual functionality of these products, we talked about how they can plug into Skype, Zoom, WebEx, or similar type of platforms. They've got voice controlled, hands-free operation. They support HIPAA compliant usage, and they're currently being worn by professionals for 16 plus hours straight during some of those longer surgeries. So again, it's crucially important here, you guys, when you're designing these products to think of all of these different elements. And that's where the leadership teams experience that portfolio of intellectual property really does set Vuzix apart from the competition. So with that being said, Vuzix is a company that I'm extremely excited about here, you guys. I think the augmented reality, metaverse, virtual reality space is really intriguing. It's starting to excite a lot of investors and they're looking for companies that have that first mover advantage. And in my opinion, Vuzix fits the bill. They've got huge revenue growth. They're starting to sign some major contracts with very notable companies. We just saw that big announcement from Verizon to start building out use cases in the sporting and gaming industry. Not to mention the major share price pullback we've seen and that big short interest in the company. So I think from a fundamental standpoint, a technical standpoint, and an overall investment thesis standpoint, this is definitely a company that deserves your attention and should be on your watch list as we move into 2022. So with that being said, you guys, I'd be super curious to hear your thoughts on Vuzix. Let me know in the comment section below if you're currently holding shares on this company, what you think on the recent news, and how you think Vuzix stands up to the competition in this space. 
As mentioned earlier in the presentation, I'll leave a link to the company website along with the article that we discussed in this video in the description section below. So make sure you take a look there, you guys. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, McNally Money, feel free to do so. Make sure you hit the like button on your way out. It's a huge help to myself and the channel. And with that being said, you guys, Happy New Year. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.